Hello, welcome to a behind the scenes of a match day at my local non-league football club, Redditch United. Football hasn't stopped just because the World Cup's on. This is non-league football and this is proper football. So Redditch, as I said, is my local non-league team. It's a town of 85,000, so it's actually quite a big town and most people in Redditch are sort of brummies that have moved out, as you'd probably expect from most towns around Birmingham. Um, like my parents were in Birmingham, moved out and I've lived in uh, Redditch all my life. So I've been coming here for years and years and years and I just wanted, the purpose of this video is kind of just to shine a light on non-league football because a lot of people don't know that they've got a local club and things like that and just focus on Premier League, EFL, which is fine. But when that's not on, like now during the World Cup, get down to your lo local non-league club and support them because especially after Covid, they need all the support they can get. So just shine a light on non-league football is the aim of this video to be fair. So I actually used to play for Redditch, I think between the ages of sort of 10 and 16. The only reason I stopped was because I started going to the villa full time and it's quite hard to obviously play on a Sunday, Saturday and go to the villa as well. Um, but I used to play for Redditch, Alf Church. Alf Church again, massive shout out to them this season, absolutely smashing it in the FA Cup. Got to the second round and then got knocked out by Forest Green. But again, it's an example of these non-league teams, absolutely smashing it, going under the radar. How are you, mate? You okay? Yeah, buddy, nice right. to meet you. Nice Just to meet a bit of fun, then. Yeah, that's yeah, really yeah, yeah. How are you, Blues? Nah, mate, I'll be in. Oh. So Redditch are in the seventh tier of English football. That's the third step of non-league football. Today we are playing Ilkeston at home. Ilkeston are a couple of places below Redditch. Redditch are in eighth place, I believe. They've spent most of the season in the playoffs, to be fair, but they've fallen away. Lost their last two games, so hopefully today we can get back on track. Another thing to mention actually that's better than sort of your Premier League jobs going to Villa, pint with a view of the game. You can't go wrong. I think this is about four quid, which isn't too different to a Premier League game, but with it watching the game as well, you absolutely can't go wrong. So food as well, food options are decent, so you actually can't go wrong at non-league level. Getting all this stuff while being able to watch the game, it's not bad. Halfway through the first half, Ilkeston penalty. Um, it's been a bit of a slow start, but Ilkeston penalty, not ideal. Hopefully he saves it, come on. Ah. Not ideal. It's been a poor start, you know. Also, I've noticed that their, their captain is Lee Tomlin. Lee Tomlin of Cardiff and Bristol City, so interesting one. One nil down, not ideal. Terrible first half. I don't think we've picked the best game to come to, to be honest. We're 2 0 down. Uh, the first one was a penalty, the second one was from a corner. Redditch just could not clear it. It's not been great. It's not been great. This will be three defeats on the bounce for Redditch. Lee Tomlin, to be fair, player manager, he's absolutely running the show. You can tell the professional class that he's got, but fans aren't happy. I'm not happy. 2 0 down at half time. Not good. Just at the woodwork twice, we at the post, we at the bar. It's a shocker. Um, we've, it's been a slightly better start to the second half, but we just need that goal to sort of start the momentum going. But it's been better, which is, which is decent. 
You might be able to hear the Ilkeston fans in the background, they're absolutely loving it, it's 3-0. Um, after hitting the woodwork twice and looking like we might get back into the game, it's 3-0, game done. It's been, it's been really poor, you know, just that they don't look up for it. And it's a shame really, because obviously we're doing this and stuff, but non-league football for you, no consistency. It's 4-0. Uh, it's, it's four. It's, four it's just really out of character, you know, like we, we're, not normally, <laughs> we're not normally this bad. Um, like I said, we've been in the playoffs most this season. It's just absolutely falling apart. Lee Tomlin's just scored. You know it's time to call it a day. Lee Tomlin scored. 4-0. Oh, So we're just going to have a quick chat with David Faulkner, the chairman of Redditch United, just to see his sort of stance on non-league football and why it's important for fans to get down to their local non-league football team. Non-league is very different to the, the, the football league. You know, you, you're a lot closer to the action, uh, a lot closer to the players. Uh, you know, we, we can have beers in stands, which you know goes down really well with supporters. So, you know, I, I think that with it being a smaller nature, you, you're more part of it. And, and you know, with, within non-league, you can not really get involved, as in you know, through volunteering at the club or. Um, or helping out on match days or whatever it might be. Crowds at non-league are, are really important, like at you know, all levels of football, and you know, we, we're doing what we can to grow our gates. Um, we've, I mean, a couple of seasons ago, from then to now, we've actually doubled uh, our average gate at home, which you know, makes a massive impact on what we can deliver on a match day. Um, and so the, the World Cup period gave us a big opportunity to try and um, grow our gates you know, without a lot of top level football being on. Um, so we've done a few different offers through, through the period. Uh, our next game, uh, we've got a game on Saturday and Monday at home. So we've done that as a two for one offer. So if you get your ticket on a Saturday, you'll be able to get your ticket on a Monday for free. Uh, all these things help. You know, we appreciate uh, cost of living and those things are you know, coming into uh, impact you know, at the moment for many people. But you know, if you're used to going to top level football, non-leagues are a far, far cheaper alternative. Uh, and, and actually, you know, the product can be just as good. So that's it. Thank you so much for Redditch United for having us down. It really does mean a lot. Obviously, I'm here most weeks when Villa aren't playing to support the boys. I know the performance today wasn't ideal, losing 4-1. It's not normally like that. Normally we've had, well, this season especially, we've had a pretty decent start to the season, but today was just an off day, 100%. But again, thank you to Redditch for having us down. Thank you, David, the chairman, uh, the manager, Matt Clark as well. It's been a really enjoyable experience going beyond the scenes and stuff. And the main message of this video is go to your local non-league team, go and check it out. You may not know who it is, whether it's Redditch, whoever it is, Go and get involved because like David was saying, it's such a unique experience and when whether it's Villa or whoever your like Premier League Championship Club is, just go to go to your local team because it is good fun and uh, I promise you, you'll enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. Please do leave a like on this video. I know it's been something different. If you have enjoyed it, please do leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.